push installation. The first thing we need to do in trust port management is to add new endpoint computers to the list. Only then we can manage them. There are multiple methods of adding computers. Make sure that the following requirements are met. You have a password protected administrator account. All necessary ports are opened. Windows user account control is disabled. And the network sharing model is set to classic. Choose one of the five methods to add client. You can add computers manually by entering a range of IP addresses. The console will search for computers using simple ping requests. This may not work everywhere. As you can see, in this case, only one computer was selected. Before you proceed with push installation, you have to enter credentials for the given endpoint computer. You can see the status of the installation online in the top left corner. There we go. Now let's go back to the list of managed computers. The new computer was automatically added into a group called Unclassified Stations. Under the Registration Rules tab, you can change this automated behavior. For practical reasons, you will probably need to sort your computers into groups. Click on the Actions menu, and choose New. Enter the name and description of the new group. You can see the group now on the list. Moving a computer to a new group is easy. Click on the Actions menu, and choose Move. There we go. Before a remote installation can be performed, an installation package needs to be uploaded to the repository. Select the Repository tab. Click on Tools, then on Add New. Fill in the name and description of the installation package. Select the File Management tab. Click on Add File and localize the installation file on your computer. Having uploaded the file into the repository does not automatically mean that you can use it. Get back to the Package Management tab now and add the file into a package. Confirm the operation by clicking on Scythe Changes. Any computer managed by the console can be assigned a task. You can define a task with the help of a wizard. Select an action you wish to be performed on the given computer or computer group. Define the timing of the task. It can run once or in regular intervals. A useful option is running the task during system startup. The task needs to be assigned to a given computer. Go back to Manage tab.
do not forget to fill in credentials for the remote computer. Wait for the synchronization period or you can synchronize manually and invoke an action immediately. Like this. After the synchronization, the software gets installed on the remote computer. Restarting the computer is highly recommended. Notice the icons in the columns to the right. They show the status of the given computer. Thank you for watching this and see you in one of our other training materials.